I love coming down here. So much fun by the water. It kind of like makes me, I don't know, like, it gives me a sense of like calm, maybe. It's pleasing. It's fresh. It's open, which I like. Usually, not just during this time of the pandemic. They are doing arabesques and padishahs over here and I'm loving it. Hold on. Work out the dancing. A little rehearsal on the pier on a Friday. It is the day of Venus. It's gorgeous. I mean, just look at this. Also takes a lot of strength and courage to be a Scorpio or to like live with that Scorpio energy. <sighs> it's intense. It's dangerous. So I think that we're taught compassion there. I mean, obviously there is compassion in cancer. And definitely Taurus, ultimately. Since the moon is exalted there, but you know. It's a... Uh, It's a fixed energy, but it's pretty flexible because it has the power to transform, right? And I guess transmute. Maybe the transmuting comes before, or comes before the transformation. I'm not sure. I told you they work out down here. Jersey behind me. The sky is so blue today. I love it. And it's not that windy either. The water level looks normal. Sometimes I come in and it looks really high. 
And uh, right now it looks pretty normal. There literally is no one working out today. There are runners, right? That's like the, those are the fitness, you know, gurus that we see today. There are runners. Usually people are like in the grass, like working out. We saw one. Um, yeah, I love coming out here and looking at the water because it is almost like a diamond that glistens and reflects and shines, right? Uh, on the surface, I think it is quite beautiful. And then that is New Jersey behind me. And that is downtown Manhattan, financial district. New York City is said to be a Capricorn. I believe it. the person who has not had actual intercourse in like three years. Believe it or not, it's true. <laughs> I was like, is that my pants? <laughs> okay. Um, this is literally like the perfect super show. It is breezy and cool and blue. And um, to be honest with you, with you, I could stay out here all day, but I honestly have things to do. Um, I kind of want to get into the studio. But I don't know if that's going to happen today because I have to go all the way back home before I do that. And that in itself is exhausting. Okay. <clears throat> I've always been known to be into the tatties, darling. like a little area where people can come and have like lunch and things like that you know like a an area to sort of break rest have a drink or whatever it's really good for like the tourists that come out here this is like some kind of crazy path that you take to the sculpture. It's getting windy, so I'm just going to go. I am uh, going to exit the park now because gonna walk all the way to the other end. Actually, I might, because I'm not usually down this far. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I didn't really talk about much. Uh, didn't really say much about Scorpio season, but it is about healing and transformation. And definitely healing old wounds. Acceptance, which brings balance into our lives. Revealing our power to ourselves through karma. Because Scorpio's ruling Mars is exalted in Capricorn, if it has to do with that. And how things change over time and 
choosing to let go. You know, so that you can start anew or have something different or experience something different. Because, you know, life is so much more worthwhile. And it's also, you know, a life well lived is a life that has been, you know, enriched, right? So having different different experiences, letting certain things die, fall off, you know, shedding skin, all of that is very important to living a full life and being satisfied with yourself. You know, because there's some times when you will have been wrong about many things and, you know, <laughs> situations and circumstances, right? Plot twists and things like that happen. And it leads you to a new experience, meeting new people, new places, becoming interested in new things. Uranus is actually exalted in Scorpio. So, the Aquarian energy squares, but is definitely apparent in the Scorpio equivalent, or the water fixed equivalent. Wow. Um, yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna get going. See where the day takes me.